not supposed to be here right now because I'm dressed like a hooker and none of you like me, but I just wanted to say congratulations. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I um, have this going on because I don't know if you've seen my previous video, but I had some filler um, put in my face via cannula and it's just caused some bruising. I'm not trying to sport a 2022 equality goatee right now. Like this is not what's going on. It looks like I have a tiny goatee but it's literally just bruising from filler, so just ignore that for now. It will leave, it will go, um, it's very normal. Sorry, one second, you just got a text on my phone. I've been meaning to do an updated video on my base makeup because it has changed, it changes all the time, even though I always like how I do it, but I always change it. I, I really like how it goes on my <laughs> how it goes on my face at the moment um i got a couple new products the other day and the other day being like three weeks ago um and yeah i just really enjoy how it goes on my face at the moment so but also at the same time recently for some unknown reason people have been telling me i look like maddie when i go out it will just be down to the fact that I always kind of wear eyeliner and I have dark hair. Whenever some new person comes out, it was Kylie, um, not a new new person, but like Dua Lipa, now Maddie, people say I look like, I don't look like any of these bitches. I don't look like, if you actually look at my face, I don't look like any of these bitches, but people just look at the dark hair and whatever feature it is that people have at the time. It was lip fillers before, had them first, Kylie, thank you very much. The people saying that I look like her, she looks like me. Dua Lipa is just because she had a haircut into a bob and I had dark hair and a bob. Um, Maddie it will literally, from Euphoria, will literally just be, why am I telling you that you fucking know? Um, well, it will literally just be because I have eyeliner and I have dark hair. That's it, that's all people see and uh, they start telling me that I look like her when I go out. So I thought, let me just do my updated, um, this is my going out makeup tutorial because I want to feel fancy today, I feel like it. Um, and I do wear eyeliner and I have dark hair, so I guess it's also um, Maddie vibes. I'm not gonna copy anything of hers because we all know how that goes. If you've been here for a long time, you know that it never ends well if I try and copy someone exactly. And also the fact that this is just how I've been wearing my makeup to go out in for like the past year, probably. So I've already, wait, no. Wait a minute, because I know that I'm gonna look in the viewfinder and I'm gonna wanna do my roots. I recently got one of these because I think we all know that I have been coloring my hair in with uh, eyeshadow for way too long now. I actually knew about these for ages, but um, I just haven't used it, but it's dangerous this, because it really goes everywhere. This is like literally a week old root. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray it in. Out, but we have to be careful. It's good this though because it doesn't stain your nails. <gasps> right. Right. I made the mistake of putting this on my hair just before I went out. <laughs> You can imagine how that went, but it comes off quite easy, so. And then I literally, see how I look like I'm wearing a wig now? This is what I was going for. Sorry, that was Color Fix Instant Root. I got it in black. Probably should have just got it in a dark brown, but you know me. Uh, and then I literally just, cause you could not see your hairline. And any bits at the front, why is this turned into a fucking hairline tutorial? Uh, I'm just telling you guys, cause I made the mistake, how dark it is. Um, it like spreads around, so I actually didn't need that much, but I spread around to the front so I, you don't really need to spray it as close to the front as I did. Just make sure if you use this, you do it before you fucking do your makeup. Yeah, and then you can literally just like buff out your... This is good for me because my roots come through so bad that um, I feel like I need to dye my hair all the time, but see, you can spread it around. It does transfer though, so just, if, you, if you're gonna touch your roots a lot, fucking stop it. Fucking don't do that. I was supposed to be here right now because I'm just like a hooker and then you like me. I just wanted to say congratulations. Just a PSA guys, 
you know what? I always make my intros so fucking long or whatever. Um, if you don't already follow me on TikTok and Instagram, make sure you go and follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I post there all the time. I'm going to be 28 on the 14th. That is in, that's on Monday and it is Wednesday now. I do not have Snapchat. If I have it, I don't use it. So please, everyone stop asking for my Snapchat because I don't fucking use it. I'm going to be 28. Ick, ick when guys ask for your Snapchat when you're out. Like, you are literally, you are literally 32. Why are you asking me for your for my fucking Snapchat? Do you know what that makes me think? That makes me think you're even cheating or you're trying to send me some unsolicited dick pics. Now I look like I'm wearing a wig. Cute, right? Get over it. And that is why you do it before you do your makeup. Okay, I did moisturize before. I'm gonna set my face. I actually normally, do use this. This is Dr. Jar um, Cream Shield Moisturizing thing. I use this before this serum. Let me put a bit more on forehead. So. But I've run out of the other one. I need to go and get some more. But that is normally why I use the prime by. I use this as just like a kind of like a primer. This is NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh thing um, yesterday, and it was kind of nice, so I don't mind it. I just thought I got some of that hair stuff on my chin then. Oh, she's fucking fresh, bro. <laughs> that was nice. Uh, the foundation I use is Pat McGrath Skin Fetish. This is the best foundation I've ever used in my life. Not so much if you like really, really, really high coverage, but it's so nice. It's like buildable and it goes on like fucking skin. It's delicious. I love it. Um, but yeah, not if you want really high coverage. This is like light to medium, I think. But I mean, it's called light to medium as well. I'm scared. I'm in danger. I remember when everyone was like doing that challenge where you put your foundation on with your hands and I was like, ew, this is so gross, these cigarettes. Now, nah, this is like apparently Pat McGrath, the queen herself, the queen said, uh, this is the best way to do it. So I will just listen to her because whatever she says I do. Five o'clock in the morning, conversation got boring. I rediscovered Lily Allen the other day and it was the best time of my fucking life. I feel like she writes music for me. Fuck you. Fuck you very, very much. Do I have a dimple? I have a dimple. Oh, I'm adorable. I don't put my foundation under my eyes because the less product you can put under your eyes, the better because it makes it crease less. I'm gonna put some, what's happening? I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty Tester and just put a little bit of foundation on my chin because it just, Helps cover the bruises with a bit more high coverage. I'm just gonna leave that like that. Leave it alone. Okay, for my eyebrows, I literally just use this pure. It's just a men's hair gel, basically. Why are you not focusing on my face when I'm the only one in the picture? Thank you. Uh, for my eyebrows, I literally just use this men's hair gel. It's like a, it's like a hair pomade just cause I feel like it sleeks my hair down AF and it's all spoony thing. It's all spoony thing. Oh, guys, have you heard that Notting Hill Carnival is on this year? After two years, I believe, two years. That's gonna be fucking crazy. I'm there, 100%. Okay, I also use Pat McGrath Labs um, concealer in Sublime L7, I don't know if that, yeah, okay, cool. Whatever, floats your bow. And I'm just gonna put it in the nose. I don't really do it on my nose because I do it after I contour, I don't know why I'm talking. Nonsense. Take this brush. I actually seen someone else who's a YouTuber using this brush as a uh, concealer and it made me feel good because I'm like, don't really use the right brushes for things. And um, I just felt proud of my little brush because I thought I actually must have a good brush here because if other people were using it as well, the light's coming out and it's gonna fuck up my lighting. I can feel it on my bones. Why are you facing there? God damn it. It's gonna go tits up, I can feel it. Stay. Um, I'm scared, go away. Right, yeah, this is the Real Techniques. It's like a, what are you? Wide foundation brush. I don't know. Anyway, I just use this one. <laughs> and so does other people. It's not just me. It's like a really good brush. Oh my god, the sun is coming out massively. Why can I not be professional? <laughs> I, a lot of people have said, oh, can you get a 
Can you post in 4K? Can you post in 4K? I swear to God, guys, I am sorting out getting a really sick camera. It's just like I'm so indecisive with things. If, if I have to spend a lot of money on them, I get so scared that I'm gonna like boy, get the wrong one. Do you know what I mean? Like, or just get one that's not as good and then be like, fuck, why did I do that? So, it's just gonna take me a minute. But yeah, I will. I wanna take my Bondi Bay concealer stick. What color is this? It's fucking rubbed off. In nude, I think. Or is it nude? Oh, it's my nude stick in Bonnie Bay. <laughs> Amy Summers. I'm just gonna take it on my brush. I don't ever put it directly on my face because I feel like you can just blend it out better if you just take it on your brush. And I put it on, I put it on slightly below and on my cheekbones. How cute is this top, by the way? It's fucking adorable. And I won't hit otherwise. For my nose, I've been liking, I've been thoroughly enjoying, and I have been participating in <laughs> getting the end of a brush and putting it in the contour, just because I feel like you can get a really good light. Without putting too much on your nose. Let me bring you in tight. Just a smidge. If you haven't seen my video, my last video of me going filler blind, make sure you go check it out because I feel like because you guys have come with me on such a fucking journey that you'll find it interesting because um, it's from when I like had filler, my like, mad, and everyone was telling me to take it out and I was like, you guys are haters, whatever. And I'm like, why did no one tell me? <laughs> Having my lips is off and then I had my face is off and then I had it redone and I had it redone again. And uh, Sarah SLA Medical, she changed my face twice now. So we did it like a heart shape first time and now we've done like kind of like a diamondy, I think. Um, yeah, she's so sick and um, yeah, just go and check it out. It's my last video. I just think it's so funny how, um, People will be like, yeah, we tried to tell you, but it's like, I feel like it's the context. Also, when you're in that mindset and you don't think it looks bad, like it's hard to take the criticism and be like, oh, it looks like shit. Because people will literally drag you on the internet for fucking and everything. So it's hard to different, 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 Hey Siri, how do you say differentiate? Sure, translate into which language? Wow. Diffy, diffy, diffy in. Differentiate, different, diff, different. Differentiate. Differentiate. Sorry. <laughs> I have to do that sometimes because it doesn't sound right in my brain. Differentiate. 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 Anyway, it's hard for me to different. Differ. It's hard for me to differentiate between, um, or just people in general, um, people being mean or people giving you hate or people just giving their opinion on what they would prefer and what actually is like not a good thing to be doing. Um, so when you have that all the time, I think you, you don't always listen or it might make you push yourself into a corner where you do it more. Cause you're just like, no, there's been fucking haters and I like how I look. Um, and it was a style at the time. It was the style at the time, let's be honest. Like, like it's only just come out of style to have massive lips, like harsh cheeks, harsh jaw, harsh chin. It's very, it's just only just come out of style. Um, so yeah, I did a whole video on that. So go and watch it or I'll say differentiate again. That was just the same concealer as before. I'm just literally sharpening up the nose. Done my contour and concealer. Now this is what I've changed mostly about my makeup is I don't bake anymore. Somebody called the police. Uh, I don't bake anymore. I use Fit Me Matte and Poreless in natural ivory. So this is a very light shade. And I instead do this. I take the little sponge that they have so kindly given to me. Oh, let me just, oh fuck! You know you get like a one hair. Oh. oh, just gonna push down my eyes, and then I will go in with this with the 
thing on it. Obviously. The. Oh my god, what is that? Get off me. Take your fucking hands off me. There's nothing more annoying than having a tiny hair on your face and you don't know where it is. Uh, okay, so, and then I just literally. So, first things first, I will line my nose like that. And then I will just push it all. See the difference already? This is a compact powder. Took me like a second then. Because I find when I bake sometimes under my eyes, it starts looking really cakey. But with this, because I'm literally just like pushing it in and it's not a lot of, um, it's not a lot of powder. Like I'm getting it on there like that, but like, I'm kind of just pushing it into my face instead of just having it sit there. And I feel like that's helped me be less kick, yeah. Oh my God, why is it not fixing my face? And then I put like a line down my nose, like that. And then I'll also put some on here. And I know what you're thinking, that's kind of bright, but we go over with bronzer and whatnot. And then I'll take the other side and I'll just pat over my nose so it's not like an actual harsh line. Like this. And it just makes it really like, you know, I like it. I'm not in danger. Okay, so uh, another product that I've been using is the NYX Professional HD Finishing Powder. I actually picked this up as to bake with because it had um, all right reviews online. And then I had a look at it and I was like, finishing powder, it's not really, it's very fine as well. And I Googled and if you put too much on your face, you can get flashbacks. So it's not a baking powder, it is a finishing powder. I literally just use this like fluffy-ish brush and I put a little bit, like a tiny bit on my face. Thing. And I'll just go over everywhere that I've baked and just over my face in general. Um, because I'm going over again with bronzer afterwards. And it kind of stops me getting oily. It's not like makeup moving. I just got that on super drug. Don't want to leave a lot on your face because it will give you flashback. Like so. Come here, we're gonna do my eyebrows. Left the lid off my eyebrow pencil. I am literally just gonna use a I said a brainwave. Okay, so right, I'm just sprayed some of this into this. So I'm gonna use this. Yes. Hey, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I'm not mad. Okay, I'm not mad at this at all. I'm not mad at this at all. She's not too bad, is she? Oh, I just spat. She's not too bad. I'm literally just using it out of this pot. <laughs> Innovative bitch. One thing I need to get out of the habit of is talking when I have my back turned. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the same concealer to line up my eyebrows. Big door. Okay, I'm gonna set my eyelids with the same powder. I use to set my face. Okay, so I either do one of two things. So I'll either draw on an eyeliner and like buff it out with um, eyeshadow or I'll just draw the eyeliner on with eyeshadow. Um, I think I'm gonna do my eyeliner with eyeshadow. Ah, I must twist my ankle. Okay, so this is so fucking easy. If you haven't, I need to stop doing that. If you haven't done, I'm like, if you haven't, if you haven't done this before, it's honestly the easiest way to do like a, a, just a cute eyeliner, eyeshadow vibe. I'll show you. Okay, first of all, first things first. I'm the realist. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get this like, like, oh, hello. This like brown, it's like light brown and a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna literally go over my whole eyelid. At the top, not my, eye, not my eyelid, sorry, my eyebrow. What? My eye bone. What's this? What's this? Not the crease, not my eyelid, what's that? The fuck is that? Anyway, I'm just gonna bring it up towards the end of my eyebrow. Cause it's such a light color, like it's quite similar to my skin color. You can be quite heavy handed and you use quite a lot of product to be honest. Let me talk in professional. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a little bit just here as well. 
I really like having a lighter bit here. I might even, hmm, I'm gonna use this. This is the Friends palette from Revolution, I believe. Yeah, it is. Uh, this is like a goldy color. I haven't actually been doing this, but I kind of feel like it's the Monana. <laughs> Monana thing. It's like a gold. So she got that. I'm just gonna put that on my lid. Just because it's a little, you know, I just feel like it. And if I feel it, I do it. Yeah. Why does it keep not focusing on my face when my face? It's on facial focus and my face is the only face in the fucking screen. Can't catch a break around here. I'm gonna first take like this brush. This little brush thing. And then I'm gonna take literally any fucking cardboard that's straight. I'm gonna take mac and cheese, which is like, like a medium brown. I'm gonna put it like, so you can angle it however you want, but just be reminded that it's gonna be slightly above where you angle it. So it won't just be there. It's just the bottom. This is where the bottom's gonna sit. So I'm gonna do it quite low. If I, if it doesn't focus on me one more time, I'm literally gonna shoot someone. Hang on. Right. Let's fucking get it together, shall we? Anyway. I just had the worst panic then for a second because I said my card was full. I said my card was full. Took out the card. The card broke, but I managed to fix it. So yes, correct. I'm gonna take this and that brown mac and cheese. Caucasian panic. I'm gonna take this card and literally just I'm trying to see which mirror would be best for me to place it wherever you want. This is the medium color, so it's not too vital that you get it exactly right. Just close your eyes and. What you want to do is not just like whack it on. I brush the card and then it kind of just like goes to where it needs to be. So I'll brush on the card like that and it goes on there. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not trying to brush it there, I'm trying to brush on the card and the edges will get on the thing. The closer to the tip that I get, the more I go on the card. And the, the further to the edge I get, the more I go on my lid. Hopefully this makes sense. So I'll go on my lid more here. Obviously I want to brush it onto the waterline a bit. And then when I get up here, I really bring it up in the card. So only a few hairs and strands are getting it. Like this, do you know what I mean? And you can kind of mess around with it a little bit from there so you can do more, do less, but it's just a bit less harsh. Same vibe. So I'm gonna take, I don't know what the fuck that's called, but I'm taking this one and I'm actually, no. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. And then I'm gonna go in, but just like focus it a little bit more towards my corner. Just more here. I want mine a little longer, so I'm gonna open mine up a bit. around if I want to make anything dark or anything I'll just take like a black and just go into it a little bit and add a bit more with this little pencil brush because I don't like how thin it is I want it a bit thicker mix the dark brown with a black okay I'm gonna take this it is um Laura Mercier magnetic pink I'm just gonna put that here because I'm gonna do my inner corner. And then, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this fucking hairspray again. And I'm gonna, guys be careful because I don't actually know if you should put this below your eyes, so just use eyeliner. I'm just doing this because I'm dumb. This is giving me the same vibes as like when I use weave glue for my mascara, for my um, eyelashes. <laughs> but like, this is gonna be my new thing until my eyes fall out. Okay, I'm going to like bronze my face up. I always do my mascara and my, um, my mascara and my 
my lashes last because I'm gonna be putting a lot of setting spray on my face. I'm using Laura Mercier bronzer number four. And then for blush, I'm gonna use, I swear to God, if this doesn't stop going out of focus. Mm. This one I'm using is Truffle Shuffle from Colourpop, which I love, but I wanna get like an orange tone when I feel like. Do some little dots. I don't know when I started doing these, but I do them all the time now. I literally cannot go out without them. I will just, you normally I will use my Benefit precisely my brow brush, but that one's dried up. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use this hair grit and some dark eyeshadow. And these are so good. If you have any blemishes or anything, or like raised skin where you feel like you are gonna get one or anything, you can just put one of these over the top of it. And I swear to God, you like literally can't see it anymore. I swear to God. Okay, so now I'm gonna just set my, stop turning my back. Okay, now I'm gonna set my face. I have two setting sprays. They're both by e.l.f. because I love them. Um, this one is just a normal setting spray and then I have an illuminating one. I go in with the illuminating one first and just do a little bit. And then I will go in and fucking drown myself in this one. Mm-hmm. So much easier than waiting for it to dry, right? I feel like it just makes it extra stay because you can really soak your face. These eyebrows are too harsh for me. I'm not enjoying them as much as I thought I would, but maybe I will want to put my um, eyeliner on. This is Benefit Roller Lash. This is literally my favorite mascara. And if you guys want to see how I revive my mascara, it's such a fucking trash bag. Like I literally, when I say I, I use my makeup till it dies, I use my makeup till it dies. So if your mascara is is dead and you think it's dead, it's fucking not, okay? It's just dry because you do this all the time. So you take some eye drops, it's such a trash bag, and literally put like two drops, that's it. Give it one of these and twist it around a bit and it literally will just give it like one last leaf of life. I'm gonna put that light brown under my eye. It's a little bit like the lightest brown I used as a base in my eyeshadow. And then with my under eye lashes, I literally run it over once and then I'll focus on this one lash there. And for some reason I feel like it opens my eyes a bit. So they all get some, and then you specifically can get a lot. I'm gonna use Collection in Cappuccino. For lipstick, I'm going to use, this is Aeneas, Aeneas. I can't speak. A-N-A-I-S, Aeneas, from NARS. I can't talk. I'm gonna let my mascara dry and I will come back, for sure. I've returned just as I said I would. Okay, so these lashes I got from a black hair store in town in uh, Manchester. So I can't remember exactly what they're called. I remember they're called Aquarius, which is hilarious because Aquarius, which is hilarious uh, because obviously I am an Aquarius. <laughs> so but they look like this. They're kind of flat. They're not like mad queeny uppy, but I love a wing. And as I was saying before about putting stuff in your eye that you shouldn't put in your eye, uh, I think everyone kind of knows this heck already, but I've been doing this for years. I don't use lash glue because lash glue fucking sucks. It's either way too strong and pulls your lashes out or it's too weak. I use weave glue. Everyone I know uses this. It's hair bonding glue. Never had any problems with it, but be careful putting it near your eye because it's obviously not meant for your eye. However, this is how quickly you can use it. This is why I use it as well. Because you can use it like, with all the other ones you have to wait. 
for it to dry. This you can actually put it on and just stick it on and it's done. And it's like a gummy, gummy Salon Pro, that's what it's called. It's like a gummy um, consistency, so it comes off easy, but it sticks really well. Uh, it, this whole thing was a pound as well, so. Well, maybe like one pound 60. It's like a pound for the smaller ones. Just literally put a layer of on. And if you get it in your clothes, or not your clothes, but if you get it on your skin or anywhere, you can just pull it off, it's like gum. And then I'm gonna put it there and slightly up. Done. I put it slightly up because I'll join this to there. And I swear to God, I have never, ever, ever needed to bring out glue if I'm wearing this on my eyes because it just doesn't come off. That's like a hooker. None of you like me. I don't know if it's because of all the money you take, but you never said that. Spread like that again, it was fucking coming out. And that is literally it. Uh, yeah, I've been doing this makeup for a while now. I go through phases of like liking like natural makeup and liking like this kind of makeup, and the moment is this kind of makeup. I swear to God, if this doesn't all, what's it? Transfer over. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna delete my channel because I can't do it anymore. That's the most stressful thing about being a YouTuber is that it's just a small mistake, the lighting being off, or like the sound recording weird, or anything, and it just fucks up everything. So stressful. So I'm gonna go and figure out and see. Hopefully this all. Hopefully this all. Do you have my nails, guys? Birthday Valentine's nail. Thanks for watching my channel, guys. If you haven't already, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in my next video. What am I talking like that? <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Love you, bye.